Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are doing a how to install Forge for Mac. Really easy. So today, so what you're gonna do is click on the first link in the description and it should take you to this website called Forge. Now Forge is a thing that r helps you load mods really great tool so what you're gonna do is we're gonna so you're gonna select your version here um, for example I'll go with 1.12.2 so click on download latest not recommended because that will probably give you a virus 50% chance now you're gonna click on installer and do not click anything here. This is just random ads. Now you're gonna click skip. Don't click skip a thousand times or it will download like a lot of copies. So now once you click on forge, it will give you this message that it cannot be open. So what we're gonna do today is so just drag it to your desktop and just close that website. So what you're going to do is click on the second link in the description and it will take you to this new website. So scroll down a little and you should see all this download stuff. Now what you're going to want to do is locate the Mac OS installer. Um, even if you're using Windows, it still will not work. Um, because this tutorial is only for Mac. In the future, I might do a tutorial for Windows. And what you're going to want to do is click on macOS installer and install it here. Click on the box and download it. We'll do the same thing. And it will just take a second to load. And drag it to your desktop. Oh, oh no. Um... So what you're going to do is it will take you to this little folder here. Double click on this little box and there should be this. This program will guide you through the installation process for the Java SE Development Kit 1.6.02. Now you're going to click continue. Now I'm not going to do installing because... Um, it is some of my private info. You have to enter your password. And I've already installed it. So what you're going to do is just click on install. Just enter your password. And it should just install. Now once that's done, you're going to want to double click on Forge. It will have the same message that you did. So click on OK. Now what you're going to want to do is locate your system preferences. If it's not in your application bar, what I'm simply going to do is go over the Apple logo and click on System Preferences. Now, in here, you're going to want to click on Security and Privacy. And now you'll see this little thing here that will say Forge 1.12 or whatever version. Now, make sure the first thing that it says is Forge just to make sure that you... Uh, that is Forge. Now you're going to want to click on Open Anyway, then Open. So now you should see this new little Java thing. You're going to you'll see this Install Client. Now you're going to click on OK, and I've already probably loaded a bunch of times. It will be a little slower for you since you've probably not installed it before. So now what you're going to want to do is go over to your Minecraft launcher. Just wanted to point out one thing. If it if you do not see Forge, it's simple enough. All you gotta do is just restart the installation. It's kind of a little bug, but in the future it'll probably be fixed. So just run Minecraft one time. Uh oh no. This is actually from the last video which didn't record any audio. Okay, so it should, it wouldn't say there's any mods here because 
Well, I've actually pre-installed mods um, already because I've used Forge a lot um, in the past time. So what you're going to do is just run it once. And now you're going to just quit the game. As easy as that. Now what you're going to want to do is click on your off screen. And when you see this finder thing, you're going to click on go here. Now, if you're using an Apple keyboard, you're going to click the button option. It's right next to the command buttons. If you're using a gaming keyboard, all you're going to do is press the alt. And you'll see this new thing that says library. Press and hold on alt. And then if you click on it, there'll be all this stuff here. Now, what you're going to want to do is go over the application support then you should find your Minecraft folder. Now, locate the mods folder. Now, you don't always have the mods folder here. So, simply just create a folder, all lowercase, just mods. Now, you're going to open it up, and I already have this pre-installed, so you're going to name a folder with the game version that you choose for Minecraft Forge. Double click, and you can install mods for Forge. Make sure they're um, available for the version you are using. And remember, it is not possible to use different versions, like use two, two different versions of Forge on the same computer. It just does not work. So we have this pre- 1.12.2 it won't be here for you now what we're gonna do is launch minecraft again here and click on play so make sure it's on this forge and it's as simple as that that you have successfully installed forge um on a mac Yes, it is possible. So, the more mods you have, the slower it will load. And... So, it's as simple as that. Not that hard. And so... Now, for example, let's go to this world. Once you load up... Just remember, you cannot load up any of your current worlds that were made on a different version. Or if you use Forge 1.15.2, it just doesn't work that much. Um, so I built this little house here. But basically, if you look in the inventory, here's all the mods you put in. There's all those great mods. Really great mods. And like Mr. Crayfish device mod, a lot of these mods you could put, um, I believe, as much as you want. I think it goes up to 75 or 100. That's a lot, if you ask me. But anyways, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, enjoy your mods, I guess. I don't know. Okay, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.